Now, boys and girls, look at this. Here is something I made as well. This is called a windsock, and it's made out of paper. And you can see that when the wind blows, it shows you which way the wind is blowing. Again, it's not very blowy here today. I'm right beside my uh, wind chimes, and I'm not really blowing today because it's not that windy. But if you look carefully at this, it looks a bit like an octopus. And you can see, look, you can see it's beginning to move with the wind. And that just shows you which direction the wind is blowing. So that's called a wind sock. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these if you want to try that. And you can hang it out in your garden. It's nice and colourful. And it blows and it shows you which way the wind is blowing. Oh, look at that. It's got a good blow there now, isn't it? Look at that. It's blown away. See our wind chimes over there. Can you see them? Oh, look at that! It's trying to get off the tree. Look, it's blowing quite hard now. And it's just showing us which direction it's going in. And if you look over here, we can see our wind chimes are starting to ch chime a bit as well. Once the wind picks up, you can start to see which way the wind's blowing. So when we hear the wind chimes, we know the wind's blowing, and the wind sock shows us which direction. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make one of them, and maybe you can make a windsock for your garden. Now, here are the things I'm going to need to make uh, my windsock. I need some coloured paper. I have some green here and some blue. You're going to need the scissors. Uh, you're going to need uh, your glue, Pritt stick, uh, or whatever glue you have, and some string. Or, or wool will do, okay? So these are the things you're going to use. So I'm going to go and collect them. So I say you need some coloured paper, scissors, glue, and uh, some string or wool, okay? They're the things we need to make our wind socks. Now, so take one of the pieces of paper. I took the green one, right? And what you do then is you roll it into a shape of a cylinder and i think it's a cylinder shape of veronica didn't you they like the shape of your tins or like a package of uh, pringles isn't it or the porridge i have at home is that shape that's a cylinder shape okay a cylinder shape and what you do then is you get a bit of glue you get your glue and you put your glue along there along this piece here right uh, and then you put the glue on and then you roll it back up and you stick it down and it should stick like that okay you see that Oh my god, oh, a bit of glue on my finger, I'm sticking to my thumb. So there you are. So that's a cylinder shape I can see you. Now, um, I just have this toilet roll here beside me, and I was just thinking, if you have a toilet roll that's nearly finished, you can take the inset out, the cardboard bit in the middle, and you could use that to make, uh, or that part for the cylinder. That'll be very good, because that's cardboard, and that's quite strong. Uh, and then maybe you could paint that if you liked, or put some decorations on it. So you could use the in middle of uh, a toilet roll if, if, if you have one. I, I don't have one at the minute, and I don't want to throw all that toilet roll out just yet. So what I did then was I made my cylinder, right? Now, so I'll put that over there to the side. Now the next thing we have to do, boys and girls, so I don't remember if you remember the windsock outside had, had like the tentacles coming out. Well, I'm going to show you how to make the tentacles. Now, for the tentacles, I'm going to use a blue piece of paper, right? So you take a blue piece of paper and you fold it lengthways. Not, not, you don't fold it that way, you fold it that way. So it's, we want the pieces of paper to be quite long. So you fold it once, so I'm going to put it down there, and fold it like that, okay? So it's nice and neat. And try and get... Uh, I don't have to be exactly right, but try and get the corners to meet. Right? So you fold it once, and then you fold it another time. So I'm going to put it down, I'll, I'll show you now. Right? So I fold this. So what did I do? I, I'll open it out and I'll show it to you. If I can open it up, my fingers are all kind of got a bit of glue on them. So I fold it once, and then I fold it twice. So you can see that it started off being this wide. When you fold it, it gets thinner. And thinner, and then you fold it one more time again. Okay, so there you go. So let's see. So it's really thin now. So I folded it. Okay, I'll open it up again and I'll show you. So what I did was, and I have my little piece of paper which I folded in half, and I folded in half, and I folded in half again. Okay, so when you open that out, right, you kind of put the paper into strips. You haven't cut them out yet, but there you are. If you look carefully. You'll be able to count them. You'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? And then what you do then is 
take your scissors, right? Take your scissors and you start to cut out each strip very carefully going along the line and uh, up to the top. Try and stay as straight as you can. You don't have to be completely straight, but as much as you can. Whoop, there's one, there's one. So cut out all the strips. So now you can see that I cut up my blue piece of paper into eight strips. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strips of paper. Now, what I'm going to do with these strips of paper is I'm going to fold them into zigzags, zigzags. And I'll show you how to do that now, okay? And we have to fold each piece of these into zigzags. Now, when I say a zigzag, this is what it will look like. Okay, so it's kind of like a spring. Bang, 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 right? That's uh, that's what I mean by zigzag. So oh, it's popped out that way. So it kind of goes down like that. It goes. So if you look at it that way, it's like lots of triangles. So how do you do that? Well, you might need a bit of help with this, okay? Because it's a little bit tricky. So uh, maybe you might have a big brother or sister to help you there. So if you take one of your strips and just fold the top bit down a little bit like that, okay? See that? So it looks a bit like that, okay? So now, what you do is, you want, see like the piece of paper now is going that way, the long piece is going that way, well you want to send it back the other way, okay? Like that. So it's going in that direction. Now long bit, go back the other way, so you press it down, and look, the piece of paper kind of fits underneath itself, okay? I'll just lift it up so you can see like a little bit of that, there you go. So like that, see? So, and then, this long bit is going that way, so you fold it back, now the long bit is going over that way, so we just fold you back. And now the long bit is going over there, so we fold it back and fold it back. Now it probably might be easier for you to do this on the table. I'm just doing it in the air so you can see it. Uh, and you keep going back until there's no more piece of paper pointing in any direction, okay? I'll just show you that again. So you take one of your strips and you fold the top part down, okay? Now, see the long bit is going over that way. Long bit! We need you to reverse, go back the other way. So the long bit now is going the other way. Now reverse, go back the other way. Reverse means go backwards. All right? Reverse, go back, and it's going that way now. Okay, and you reverse, and it's going back that way. You can do this on the table, you can press it down, and it might be easier. And you see the long part is going that way, so we fold you over. All right? Now the long part is going that way, so you fold it over. Now the long part is going that way, so you fold it over, and so on. And you keep folding, do it that way, until you have all your strips made into uh, zigzags. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, can you see that there? So they look like triangles, yeah? Now, so you do that until all your strips are zigzags, okay? So now, look, there we go. Here's all my strips turned into zigzags. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They all look like little caterpillars going by, don't they? Blue caterpillars going for a walk. Blue caterpillars going for a walk. Well, they're going to be now like the tentacles on my uh, cylinder here, which is the top part of my uh, which is going to be the top part of my windsock. I can't even talk anymore. So now, I'll show you what to do now. Now those uh, zigzags are a little bit too short so, so I'm going to show you what we need to do now to make them a little bit longer. So now using the glue I turned my eight uh, zigzags into four long ones. One, two, three, four. So I stuck them uh, two zigzags together in each case to make one big long one. So they're going to be the tentacles now and I have to attach them to my windsock and again I'll show you how to do that, okay? Now to do that I need to attach this tentacle in the at, at the bottom uh, to, uh, of my windsock and I'm going to connect it to the bottom. Now I'm not going to put it on the outside, I'm not going to stick it on the outside uh, I'm not going to stick it on the outside there. No, I'm going to stick it on the inside in there like that. Okay. So how do you do that? Well, again, you get your glue. You get your glue, and you take one part of the folded uh, zigzag and you put some glue on it. Okay. Uh, okay. Nice and sticky. Uh, I've got a bit of glue on my fingers there. That's okay. So you can see that there. A bit of glue there. And what I do then is I'm going to take it and I put it inside there, inside the cylinder. And I just press it and hold it for a few seconds so the glue sticks, okay? And I take it away, there you see it hanging. 
Okay. Now I have to do that's one. I need to do the other. Uh, how many do I have? Yeah. There's one there, so there's three on the table. So what I need to do now is I need to get my other tentacle, uh, the zigzag tentacle. Again, take the fold apart, and you can put the glue on it. We we'll need to wind up a little bit, get more glue out, and I put the glue on the end of that. Yeah, okay, all right. See, nice and sticky. Uh, where do I stick that? Now you have to be careful where you stick it. Okay, so this time, you see the way you don't stick on this side. There, no, you have to stick it on the opposite side. So you see what that bit of blue paper is? I just turn it around there. We're going to stick this one on the opposite side. Okay. So there we go. So now you have one, two, two little tentacles. Yeah. Now, so the next tentacle, right, is going to go in between here. It's going to go in there, right? Yeah. So I'm going to get the next one and I'm going to stick that one. In there so I'm gonna put that down for a second take up my glue Ooh, the top fell on the floor uh, put the glue on like that make sure the glue is on nice and steady okay you see that there nice and sticky and I'm going to stick that not beside it but in between those two over here oops don't get any my finger stuck okay so now we have three and then if I turn it around here you can see the space for the last tentacle to go in. So again, I get my last tentacle and a bit of glue, a bit of glue on it. Okay. And yeah, oops, I'm going to lift this up there. Now you don't have to lift this up there. You can have this on your table. I'm just lifting it there so you can see it on the camera. And you stick that bit in there. So now that's the tentacles stuck onto our windsock. Now the next thing we have to do is is we have to put our string. We have to get a bit of string and we put a bit of string we kind of make a loop a loop so we can hang somewhere okay so i'm going to get a bit of string i'll show you how to do that now right now here's my piece of string and at this end of it here i don't know if you can see you can see that there i put a bit of sellotape the glue doesn't really work that well with the string so or the bit of wool or whatever you're using so you probably might need to use a bit of sellotape or if you have a stapler or something so what you do then is so you take that and you stick that again on the inside like that of your cylinder okay Just press it down so you can hang it now that won't hang off the tree why because we need this piece here to go on the opposite side so i need to get another piece of sellotape and i'll stick it on the other side and there it is can you see it if i just hold it up maybe there you can see it beside my coat there a bit of sellotape in okay and we stick that there onto the opposite side of the cylinder so you get a kind of like a nice handle okay so now if i go back a little bit oh, back back you can see that now i made my windsock which looks a bit like um, an octopus doesn't it except it hasn't eight legs it only has four now what we'll do then is we'll go and find somewhere to hang it outside so now I found a spot for my green and blue in sock and there it is hanging beside my red and my yellow and we can see which way the wind is blowing it means it's blowing from that way and it's blowing all the way towards over there you see so our wind socks are showing us which way the wind is going they're kind of dancing in the wind so look at that so today we made two wind socks and they're blowing there in the wind and we made our wind chime which is having a little dingle dangle over there yay so maybe you can try the wind chimes and the wind socks it's going to be blowing widely now because the wind is going to be picking up and remember because it's february end of february we're coming into march but march always brings some very windy weather.